Hi, in this video we're going to have a quick look at off-axis symmetry inside of Studio Max. So, we've got a cylinder, um, 12 segments, we're going to right and click, convert to editor poly, go to front view, going to go to points mode and get rid of half of it. So, delete and get rid of the other points we've missed. Hello, there we go. So that's all good. Go back to let's move my coffee out of the way before I kick it over. That's not gonna be a good <laughs> idea, is it? Uh Alt W. So we have half a cylinder at the minute. Like so. We're gonna add a symmetry modifier. So under S for symmetry down here somewhere. We are going to add U. So that's all good. At the moment, um we're in zero 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 land. We're in the centre of the planet or centre of the workspace. So we've added a symmetry modifier. Um, and now I'm going to go and move our object away from the center and going to rotate it sort of like out that way and then out that way okay so it's definitely Alt W don't do that it's definitely not in zero zero land I'll just lift it up a little bit so yeah it's all wrong but we can see that what we've got here is if I go into editable poly for instance and I show end result so I get both sides and I can go and select um, a couple or three polygons over here and it's going to select the other side and we can do such things as inset inset it a bit more and then that's cool and then we'll go and say extrude and we'll do a little one and then another one like so and then we can add a modifier like turbo smooth at the end of it so what we end up with is uh, we've still got symmetry even though we're over at an angle um, not sure how many programs can deal with that because what it's really doing is, is the model itself is obviously when I applied the symmetry was in zero zero space and I've just moved it so I can symmetrically model anything off axis on the side of an object for instance if this is a cylinder on the side of a car that's like angled I don't have to put it into zero zero land to uh, carry on editing it I can actually place it on the model and then edit it symmetrically um, and that children <laughs> ends that video there you go that was a pretty simple one wasn't it so uh, yeah not sure what does and what doesn't do that um, I've seen a lightweight video where you can sort of uh, you create a axis out of a polygon and then you can set it back as a temporary thing and then edit it and then throw it back again so it's sort of it's a look of a workaround way of doing it rather than an in situ way of doing it so you're still going to be still going to be modeling the model symmetrically but not on the rest of your object for instance it's going to be back in zero zero land temporarily and then it will go back out and place itself back on the model again this is a little bit more elegant in that um, you can symmetrically model your model on the rest of the object if that makes more sense so yeah there you go simple bit like me right um, here end of today's video so cheers see you later bye